In this specific lecture, let's go ahead and learn about binding event handlers. So a couple of lectures ago, we have actually created this particular class based counter here, which actually increments the value of counter by one every time we click the increment button. So we have actually used event handling in this example. And I said that we won't be discussing about event handling in there. But we are going to discuss it later. And this is where exactly we are going to dive deeper into this particular example itself. So in there, you will notice that what we have done is that in order to handle the event, we have said button on click equals, and we have used some syntax of this sort, wherein we have used a function and we have made that function say this dot increment. So why exactly have we done that? And why exactly is this thing required? So there's a specific reason why we did that. And let's try to understand this reason. So in the previous example, where we have used a class based event, what we have done is that we have simply said or we have simply passed in this dot handle click, which was all fine and good. However, in this counter, we have used something like this dot increment. So now let's try to get rid of this and instead say something like this dot increment. And let's see what happens in this case. So if I try to do that, uh, let's add this component here, which is nothing but the counter component. So I would say counter. And now if I go back to the browser, if I hit refresh, uh, let's actually comment out this code so we don't get any warning there. So let's quickly go ahead and do that. Okay, so once this is commented, hopefully we'll get rid of all those warnings here. And now if I click on the increment, as you can see, I would get an error over here. Now the question is why exactly this happened? So this happened because this thing says type error cannot read property set state of undefined. So it's basically saying that this set state which we have over here, which is the set state method which we have used in order to set the state of the counter and increment the state of the counter by one is not defined or undefined. Specifically, it will say that this particular keyword, which is the this keyword is undefined. So why exactly does it say that? So if we go back to the component, which is counter here, what technically happens is that when you click this particular on click button, here we have passed in this dot increment, which should technically shift the control over here to increment. However, the problem here is that it won't get a reference to this which is being passed here. So this over here refers to the current instance. However, we are not able to get a reference to that. So that means if you go inside this particular increment and if you try to console log the value of this here, let's see what do we get. So if we go up over here, hit refresh. And if I click on increment, if we scroll up here, it says undefined because the value of this inside this particular increment method is undefined. And as the value of this is undefined, it cannot actually set the state by using this, neither it could go ahead and set the value of counter by using this. So now uh, this is the problem with this. And that problem is this increment method cannot access the this keyword. So the question is how exactly would we solve that? In order to solve that, we would need to pass in or bind the this keyword with the increment method, which is our event handler. Now there are several ways to do this. The best way to do this is to bind the event handler in the constructor itself. So what we could do here is that we could go inside this particular constructor method and we could perform the binding of this keyword with the event handler. So remember that we are performing binding of this keyword with the event handler and the event handler in this case is nothing but the increment method. So in order to perform that binding, I could say, this dot increment. So first get access to the event handler, which is the increment method. Once you get access to this, you see this dot increment dot bind, and then bind in this with this. So once you go ahead and do that, hit refresh. Now if I click it, as you can see, the value of the counter is increased because now this is actually accessible to this increment method. And also the value of this is now no longer undefined. Instead, it's actually giving us this particular counter object here. So this is one way of binding the event handler with the this keyword. 
So I'll comment this thing out for now. And let's take a look at the second way of actually doing this. So another way of actually binding the event handler with the this keyword is by making use of the arrow function for the event handler. So right now, as you can see, this increment is our event handler and it no longer works because the this keyword is not accessible in here. And now in order to solve this particular issue, what we simply do is that we convert this particular thing into an arrow function. So here I would say increment equals and just convert this into an arrow function like that. If we do that, if we hit refresh, now this works. And that's because the major difference between a regular function and the arrow function is that whenever you use arrow functions just like that, the arrow function actually has access to this, this keyword. That's the simplest thing you need to remember. And if we change back or revert this thing back to a regular function like that, this would no longer have access to the this keyword and this won't work. So this is the one thing which you need to remember about this this keyword. Now we have learned about the two ways of binding event handler with the this keyword and there's one more final way to do it and that's the way which we have done it in the previous lectures. And that is by keeping this function or this method as a simple normal method and over here inside this on click you could use the arrow function. So you could make use of the arrow function just like that and see this is a function which defines this increment. And as this is a function, you actually need to make a function call here. So make sure that you have the parentheses here. And if you do that, hit refresh, click on increment, this would work. That's because now the increment event handler is bound with the this keyword. So these are the three ways of doing that. And the most recommended way is to go ahead and use arrow functions for class method. So what you do is that you create an arrow function here. So this is the most recommended way. So you just simply go ahead, use the arrow notation over here and just simply see this dot increment here, delete this. So this is the recommended way this would work. And the other recommended way is that you simply go ahead and just see this dot increment use a regular method here, just like that. And just perform the binding inside the constructor like that. And this would work absolutely fine as well. So this lecture might have sound a little bit confusing about binding event handlers, but hopefully you have understood it decent enough. So if you didn't understand this concept at this moment, it's absolutely no problem. It takes some time to sink in. You could proceed with the rest of the lectures. And as we encounter event handling in class based components, you'll soon be able to recognize the pattern and you'll soon be able to understand the concept of event binding. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.